everyone, so I'm back finally. I haven't made videos in like two and a half months or something. Um, I had some like technical issues with my camera and stuff, but basically, um, I'm back. Hope you understand because I obviously do have a lot of exams and stuff, and I'm at GCSEs, and it's just a lot of stress. So today, I decided from it's gonna be an empties video, and I've never made one before, but I have so many empties. Like, I just have so many empty products that I just leave in my drawers so yeah um i'm sorry if i'm speaking kind of quiet in this video it's because the time is like 11 something in the night and i have school tomorrow and everyone else is sleeping <laughs> so um yeah and get ready guys because this is probably a really long video um i have 19 products to talk about if you're new to my channel and you like what you see then don't be afraid to hit the hit the subscribe button down below and yeah so let's just get into the video i'm just picking the products out randomly and no specific order so the first thing is max max first thing is mac fix plus i really, really love this i'll definitely repurchase this in fact i actually already repurchased it and this one's like up to there i don't know if you can tell but it's yeah it's like up to there so i already have another one of this and i think it's definitely worth it because it, it's a little bit pricey, I don't know, it's like 17 50 or something, £17.50, um, which is alright, but it makes sure, like, I put this on, so I do my base makeup, like blush, all that stuff, um, highlight, and then I put this right on top, and it just, like, makes all the powders just look, like, they kind of, you know how you have all those layers, layers of makeup, it just puts all the layers into one layer. So it kind of like blends in your skin. I don't know, it's like magic. My normal like makeup routine, I put on two setting sprays, which is so, 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 so extra, but whatever, because they both offer different things. Okay, as I said, I was going to talk about it. Next, we have the Urban Decay All Nights for Setting Spray, and I love this, and I will definitely repurchase it. And I really love that the mist is a really fine mist, and obviously, this is like the old packaging, but I also repurchased the new packaging. The new packaging, which I don't know which one I like more because when I first saw this, I was like, wait, what? And this one gets dirty quite easily, but so does this because it's white and this one because it's black. So I don't know, but I got the bigger one and it's lost quite a while. I think there's like this much left, so I probably have to repurchase this once again. But yeah, I really, really like this. And it's really great for like setting the makeup. I don't really know how long my makeup lasts if I use this. By the way, most of this is obviously makeup, but next I have some concealers, and this is this is two of the same thing, because obviously I've used both up, and it's Maybelline, okay, I just dropped one. It's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer thing, and I've gone through two of these, and I'm currently on my third one. I don't really know if I'll repurchase another one because I have so many other concealers in my drawer and this, don't get me wrong, this is a really really nice concealer and I bought it, like, I repurchased it already once but I don't know, there's something about it, like, I don't know, it, it used to be so nice but I have so many other concealers that work so much better for me than this does and like, my favourite concealer is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate something, I don't know if it is Collection Last Perfection Concealer. I think I, I think that's what it's called. Um, but I really like it, and that's only like three pounds or something like that, which is a lot cheaper. And this is like nine pounds, so you know, yeah. Next product is actually a hair product, and it's from John Frieda, and it's the Frizz Ease Extra Strength Six Effect Serum. So you can put it on your head to make it a little smooth and stuff. There's only like a really little bit left. But I really really like this and it just really worked well for me, especially with my frizz. But I actually bought another oil so I'm not going to repurchase this but it was really really good. Next is this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Based Massage and this is like a primer. And I kind of like this but I had it quite a long long time ago so I don't remember exactly. But I remember it was a bit, it was quite shimmery and stuff. I don't know um, how much I would have liked that but because I don't really like having like so much glitter on my face apart from like highlighter and eyeshadow and stuff but it's just I don't know I don't know about this but I probably won't repurchase this because I don't remember what it's like unless I get like a sample and then if I like it then obviously I will. The next product is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and 
I have mixed feelings about this. I don't know if I will repurchase it because I what I did was put highlighter on and then put this to set my face and put more highlighter on to make it like more like popping. It had like a weird chemically smell to it. And plus the spray wasn't that it wasn't like that fine, it was alright. But I might give this a go again. Okay, so the next product is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Port Eraser. And I really like this. It's like quite a nice consistency, like feeling. You put it all over, make sure pores look smaller, and make sure makeup go really nice. And I overall just really like this. And I've had it empty for quite a while, and I never, I don't know if I will repurchase because the thing is, I don't really have a problem with pores, but I did really enjoy using it. Next, I have Maybelline Lash Sensational. I've had this for quite a while. I don't know if you can tell, but like the rings come off it and stuff. Um, I have another one which is like almost running out. Um, of this and I really like this but there's one I really really like more than this which I don't know I don't really hear people talking about it I didn't know it even existed before I saw it in the store but it's the Lash Sensational Oil Blend it looks like this and I really like this one more even though I don't know if you can tell but the wand is like completely different to the Maybelline one this was like more straight and Maybelline, Maybelline well that's maybe as well but like the other one is a bit more curved but I really like this one a lot more next are these wipes there's only like a couple or one left in here so I thought I might as well just show it to you because it's gonna finish soon so this is Nature Cleansing Facial Wipes and this was in Tea Tree I really really like this one it was one pound for a pack of three and I think that's really, really good considering each one of them has 25 wipes, so you get 75 wipes. Next thing is this Olay Beauty Fluid Day, which is like basically a moisturizer, and I bought this like quite a while back, and I really, really like it. It's like super smooth, and makes your skin feel super smooth. But it has like that, it has that smell that Olay always has, and I don't know why they have that smell, but I don't really like that smell. It just kind of puts me off. Is anyone with me on this? But you know so it's the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and I really like this one it's in the shade 3W1 Tawny I actually repurchased it as well this is like my third bottle or something and it lasts really long and it has a really nice finish it's just really really good I think it's one of my favorite foundations out there the next thing is another foundation and it's L'Oreal infallible 24 hour matte foundation and my one's in the shade 20 sand and this one says texture is medium Coverage is high. I would say this is medium coverage. I want to say it's high because I don't know. I probably won't repurchase this because it finished really, really quickly. And also, when I put it on and like pour up, I blend it out for so long and it still like goes patchy on me. And it doesn't mean like necessarily that oh, I don't like it and it won't work for you because loads of people use this and they love it. So I think give it a try if you can and. I think you'll probably like it, but I don't know why it just didn't work out for me, unfortunately. Next thing is a primer, and it's the Rimmel Fix and Effect Makeup Primer. Not Fix and Effect, Fix and Perfect Makeup Primer, and I'm not going to buy this again. It was like £7, and I used it, and I didn't notice any different at all on my skin, and it just basically did nothing for me, so... I don't see the point of buying it again. And it said that it smooths, ref resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. And I don't think it does any of that stuff. I don't really know what it is. It didn't do anything, so it's not really worth the money. So I'm going to tight raise high, by the way, because it's really late. Okay, so the next product is a concealer, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I, I think I like this one more than the Adrian one, um, but it's not my favourite. But I'm, I'm still probably going to buy this. It lasts me quite a while. There's a little bit left, like, on the side, so I can still kind of use it. Yeah, I really like this, and I'll definitely repurchase. It just goes on so smoothly, and... It's just really nice. The next thing I've finished is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I really, really, really like this for like baking my face and stuff. And it's just really nice. And yeah, but the one thing I don't like is that there's still like some powder left at the bottom and it won't really come out the top. So it's like a wastage of powder. But anyway, I do have another one as well. I think it's worth it because it does last quite a while. The next thing is from NARS and it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And actually guys, I, I don't really like this. I don't know. For the price, it's not like really worth it. It didn't really like do much. It wasn't like, it was good. Like it covered my dark circles nicely. But it wasn't like, wow, you know, like boom in your face. Like, oh, this is so nice. 
But like, I don't know, I feel like I like the Maybelline Fit Me one way better. One of the last two products of this one is from One Seed and it's the Moisturising Day Cream and, um, not day cream, why am I reading around the word? It's a moisturising body cream, it's like some sort of fragrance, but it's a really, really nice fragrance. And I'm sad it's finished, but, um, it came in like a gift set thing, so I don't know if I can repurchase, but, you know, if I can, then I definitely will. And the last thing's a little sample, but I really, really do love it, and it's from Lancome, and it's the Advanced Genifique Youth Anti- Youth Activating Concentrate and I think it's probably like a serum and you just take I don't know where you can see easier so you just take that and it's like a little droplet thing I don't know what it's called I completely forgot and this makes your face look so smooth and nice and I might have had a full one depending on how expensive it is because I have not touched up in Lancome it's pretty damn expensive but yeah <laughs> and you guys sorry I don't know if you can tell but sorry if my eyes are red because I have this like light in front of me and it's and I have hay fever and it's like irritating my eyes. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video then please do give me a thumbs up and do let me know if you enjoyed it and also do comment down below and I'll just yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Call me